number one Iron Age booty daddy. So in the last week, Bud Light, <clears throat> specifically Anheuser-Busch, decided that they were going to do this thing with Dylan Mulvaney and come out and basically alienate all of their audience. And people go, well, they don't know their audience. They don't know who their audience is. They don't know who their consumers are. And then the vice president of Bud Light, the vice president of their marketing team, so not the vice president of Bud Light, just the vice president of their marketing team came out, and she's obviously some college-educated elite that's probably never had a Bud Light in her life. And she came out and said, well, we're a dying brand. Well, that's news to me. I mean, considering the amount of Bud Light that I've had in my life, the amount of Bud Light you guys have seen me drink on this very channel, boy, that's news to me. And she said, well, to take this brand into the future. She was like, what does the future look? Well, it's inclusivity. And there's backlash. Stock prices are tanking. People aren't buying it. People are moving to another brand of beer to drink. And right, it's not that easy. Just switch brands of beer. It's not that hard. But I want to talk about what Bud Light really didn't realize when they did the Dylan Mulvaney thing. You see, yeah, a lot of people around the world say, oh, well, Bud Light, it just tastes like a, it tastes like pee water. Why would you want to drink it? It's not that good. This, that, and the other thing. And I'm going to be honest. It's not the best beer on the planet. But, a 90, but on a 95 degree day, where there is less than 20% humidity and you're dying from the summer sun and you're working on putting up some new barbed wire fence with your dad because it just so happened the bull got a little frisky with the barbed wire fence that day and now you need to fix it so that way that the calves don't get out. A Bud Light doesn't sound too bad. Right. After another hot day... <clears throat> When you come home from work and you're sitting down and you're thinking about the trials and tribulations, the way the boss chewed you out, the way that things just didn't work out that day, it's tough. Your body is run ragged and you are beaten down from the wind. A Bud Light ain't that bad. You see, when you're having a barbecue and people are over at your house having a good time, and everybody brings all manner of stuff over. And somebody says, hey man, they brought some beer over. Let me go get you one. And a friend of yours hands you that blue can. A Bud Light ain't that bad. You see, when every other company on the planet out there has demonized you for what you stand for, even craft breweries. Well, it used to be at a Bud Light, it wasn't that bad. When you're sitting in a combine all day, going back and forth through the fields, or you're in your planter and it's lunchtime, and your wife brings you out. Your lunch box and a cold six pack. And you could sit there and have a nice cold drink while you finish up the day. A Bud Light ain't that bad. When your hands are cracked and calloused and the days are longer than everyone else's, because 4 a.m. comes real early. And the sun goes down later in the summer, which means you just got to work that much longer. A Bud Light ain't that bad. And for a lot of people out there wondering, what are you talking about? Bud Light's not that good of a beer. Well, I've fought with my brothers with a Bud Light in my hand. I've made amends with my brothers with a Bud Light in my hand. And my dad and I have stared out at the pasture at his house after a hard day's work.
Bud Lights in our hands. You see, it's not just <clears throat> the white suburbanites or whatever that they want to say. It's not even just the blue-collar workers. The insult that Anheuser-Busch decided when they said, you are not worth our time. Well, boy, howdy, I hope you like the heat in your house. I hope you like the roof over your head. The food in your grocery stores. And the roads that you drive on. Because those of us who would drink Bud Light, yeah, we're the ones that built all that for you. While you flipped us off and honked at us while we were in our hard hats and our vests because, oh, well, the construction, you got, you're just in my way for the day. And after all of that and then people swerving into the cone zones and almost killing us. At the end of the day, a Bud Light wasn't that bad. You want to know who Bud Light insulted when they decided to make the statement that they did? It was the farmers, the ranchers, the construction workers, the home builders. The people that run the electricity to your house held the people that built your house. But now, Bud Light sounds pretty bad. Been pondering how to do this video for many days now. And it finally hit me. The reason that this one kind of stings a little bit? It's just beer. It's just another company. But damn it, I got a lot of memories with that beer in my hand. Got a lot of memories with that beer in my hand. It's the best beer on the planet? Hell no. But when you're surrounded by good company, or when you're tired at the end of the day, and you've put in a solid 10, 12 hours worth of work in the sun. A Bud Light didn't used to be that bad. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below. I would love to hear from all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. And never forget, I dedicate a special live stream to you every Sunday, where I go and I read all of your comments. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central, and I would love to see you all there. So until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.